This is the Toto A100 model and I'm quite happy with it. This is their base model. All it has is warm seat and washing feature. It doesn't have a DO tracer, although there's a compartment, there's nothing in it, it's just empty. And it does not have the pre-mist spraying feature. That's on the C100. I also like the fact that the remote is just attached to this, so there's no chance of it getting lost. I've not asked my kids where did the remote go, it's going to be there when you need it. The temperature for seat and water has three settings. And it's also got this energy saver mode, which I was surprised. It stays on for a few days, more than a few days, maybe like three, four, five days or something like that. And it figures out when you use it. And based on that, it actually goes to energy saving mode when it thinks that you might not need it. So I have this hooked up for two weeks now. And let's look at the power usage, which is also pretty interesting. There we go, kilowatt. So it has used six kilowatts in two weeks. And then the lid is soft close. Open it up right there. Drop it. Closes nice and slow. The toilet is a Toto Drake 2. I never knew it's quite easy to switch the toilet out. I was able to change this myself. All right, so if you guys are looking for a bidet, I highly recommend the Toto A100, which is their cheapest model. All right, it was quite easy to hook up. I was able to hook all that up by myself. Bye.